Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. What do we know about this veteran actor, Kola Oyewo? Kola Oyewo is a professional actor whose career has spanned over six decades. In fact, the name Kola Oyewo seems to have been ringing a bell from time immemorial. His involvement in acting dates back to his early years in secondary school when he joined Oba Drama Society in 1961. From there, he moved on to the Onyi Adejobi Theatre Group between 1964 and 1963. And with a burning desire to reach the zenith of his career, he proceeded to the Oryo Lokun Cultural Theatre based at the Institute of Cultural Studies of the Obafemi Awolowo University. He is known to have featured in several blockbuster Yoruba movies, including Chongo, Femi Okomomi, Kotu Olon, Nkon Ashiri, Omo Bishop, Ogede Dudu, and Koshede, just to mention a few. How old is this veteran? He was born on 27th of March 1946 at Obaile, a town in Oshun State. He would be 74 years old on the 27th of March 2020. Kola Oyewa is also popularly known for the movie The Gods Are Not to Blame. Let's talk about his education. He attended St. Joseph Primary School at Obaile. He started at the age of 9, that was in 1955. Then in 1960, he completed his primary education at St. Benedict Catholic Primary School in Oshobo. Then he proceeded to St. James Secondary Modern School, Oshobo. He attended Obafemi Awolowo University where he obtained a certificate in dramatic arts, a certificate in Yoruba oral literature before he later received a Bachelor of Arts degree in theatre arts from the same university in 1995. He then proceeded to the University of Ibadan, where he received a Master of Arts and a Doctorate degree in Drama. Since this veteran started his career over six decades ago, which one among the movies that he has acted in is the most challenging? It will be in 1995, when they were to put Koshebe on video for main frame, because Koshebe was a play that they had performed on stage. When Professor Akimo Mishola wrote it at the University of Ife, they had it on stage. But in 1995, Mainframe decided to put it on a video. And the role that Kola Oyewa played when they had it on stage was different from the role Mainframe wanted him to play. He played a role low when they played it on stage. All of a sudden, they said that he should play Mako, which was quite different from the role that he had played earlier. Kola Oyewa then took up the challenge. That was actually the film that gave him the award of the actor of the year. Let's talk about his personal life. Kola Oyewa got married very early and became a father at a young age when he was 21 years old. Unfortunately, six months after that, they lost the child. However, they were blessed again with four other boys. What music does he listen to? He loves the songs of Fela, KSA, Orlando War, and Sikiru and Barista. How did he meet his wife? She came to join them at Oriolo Loko. Olaru to me went to Ekiti when they wanted to do Ogun Onire. He wanted to conduct audition for girls who could sing in Ekiti dialect. And his wife was in Ekiti at that time because her grandmother was in Ibarra Udu. She went to live there with her. So she speaks the dialect. She attended the audition and Rotimi employed her. That was how Kola Oyewa saw her and approached her. So is this veteran a fulfilled man? When he was asked it, he said that he's fulfilled because this is a profession that he started at a tender age. He was only 18 years old when he joined the Oyi Adijobi Theatre Group and he had just secondary modern school education. But now, he's a professional veteran actor. He also has a PhD degree and he has been a lecturer for several universities. His father, Bandola Oyewo, was an Egungun dancer. He actually said he learned patience from his father. Let's talk about his awards. He's a recipient of the City People Movie Special Recognition Award. So how does this veteran relax? When he has any leisure time, he loves to remain at home with his family. He stays indoor with his wife, children and grandchildren. That is how he relaxes. When an interviewer asked this veteran some years ago that 
African men by nature are promiscuous. As a popular actor, Kankola Oyewa fit himself into this description. Well, this was his response. What gives you that impression? Because our forefathers married a lot of women. It was not promiscuity that led our forefathers to marry a lot of women. They needed those women to help them in their work. And when Huba Tugunde started the professional theatre, he needed women to act for him. And whenever he employed a spinster, the moment that one gets married, the husband would take her away. That was how he started getting married to the woman, performing with him. And the people who followed him emulated him and did the same thing. It is not a matter of promiscuity. It was necessity that compelled them to marry a lot of women. But for Kola Oyewo, he has only one wife. And the name is Benedicta. Back then, traveling theater was a way of bringing theatrical performances closer to the people. Because in those days, it was not only in the big towns and cities that they performed. They also performed in every nook and cranny of Yoruba land. Even outside Yoruba land. They performed in Kogi states. They used to go to the north to perform. They performed everywhere in the villages. So it was a way of bringing theatrical performances to the doorstep of the audience. So how did they used to generate funds back then? They used to sell tickets. They used to perform in town halls, in the court halls, even in the courtyards of some traditional rulers. They performed by invitation. The traditional rulers used to invite them when they were having some kind of festivities, then they would get paid for it. But on their own, they used to go around the town and then sell tickets. They made their publicity and sold tickets to members of the audience to watch their play back then. That was how they ran the financial aspect of theater in those days. So can traveling theater still be revived? It would be very difficult to bring back that form of theatrical performance because it is very expensive. You will have the vehicle to move people around, you will risk how to break even, and so on. Because there are so many forms of entertainment now. The video is here, the football, and everything where people are entertained. Theatrical performance was the only form of entertainment in those days at that time. So it maintained a kind of monopoly for them in those days. But nowadays, there are so many other forms of entertainment. When he was asked about his role model in the early stage of his life, this was his response. Why I joined the Onya Dejobi Theatre Group in 1964, Chief Lerepa Emawu, who was manager of the theatre then, was my role model. I loved the way he acted, the way he sang. I tried to emulate him. When I came to the University of Ilefe in 1973, Uncle Jimmy Sholanke was there for me to look up to. So at different stages of developing my talent in theatre, I had different people to look up to, he said. This was the advice that this veteran had for younger ones coming behind. A lot of people think that they can jump up one day and say that they are actors. I believe that there is a talent, but they just have to acquire some knowledge so that that talent you have, you will nurture it to maturity. So it is not enough to be talented. It is equally important to acquire knowledge in whatever you're doing. I advise that the young ones who want to be artists once they discover they have the talent, they must also try to acquire knowledge to learn the techniques and the mechanisms of the profession, he said. What I call out was memorable moments as an actor. In those days, when we were performing the popular Yoruba traveling theater, I enjoyed the popularity. Wherever I went to at that time, they held me. They called me my stage name and I felt so happy. Later, when I came to the University of Ife Theater, I also enjoyed some kind of popularity before it was changed to our Fasuku Theatre. We performed all over the place and it made me very popular. There are so many places I will get now that will easily recognize me as an actor and they accord me the respect, he said. So does he have any hobby? As an actor and a lecturer, he usually does not have the time. It's either he's on rehearsal, he's on stage. Or is in the class teaching people, lecturing, or on a movie location. But he has a hobby. He plays table tennis. We have come to the end of this episode on this talented and fantastic veteran, Kola Oyewo. We hope you learned one or two new things about him. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.